by repetition, practicing, working hard, grinding, Talosh, grinding and put your effort, put, put your energy into it. Yeah, of course you'll achieve it. But if you want to just put, uh, you know, beat around the bush or bushes, <laughs> you, you want to beat around the bush and uh, see what he said. Uh, what did she say? What did he say? Uh, did he say anything about me? What did he talk about me? What did he say about me? Hey, don't give a shit. <laughs> don't give a shit. You know, you shouldn't really get your mind busy with these things. Negative words are bullshit. Negative words are bullshit. You shouldn't really bother yourself to spend, waste your time to, to hear what he said, to hear what she said. Come on. And uh, she works hard. That's why everybody loves her. And they're twins, Dolu. They're twins. 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 Twin tower, Borja Dolu. Twin towers. Well, the kids are cute, lovely, and adorable. I just want to really uh, have her cheeks, you know. And you say adorable, adorable. Kids are cute, lovely. I love kids. Of course, it's too hard to, uh, although it's too hard to take care of the kids. It's too hard to take care of the kids, but it's really nice, you know. They're so lovely, so cute and adorable. Please keep an eye on my laptop and I'll be right back. Keep an eye on my laptop. Keep an eye on my laptop. Keep an eye, you know. Could you please keep an eye on my laptop? I'll be right back. You're at the restaurant, you wanna to go to the toilet, you ask your friend, excuse me, could you please keep an eye on my laptop? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I mean, I'm going I'll be right back. Please keep an eye on my laptop. I'll be right back. I always take my brother to kindergarten. I always take my brother to the kindergarten. I always take my brother to the kindergarten. Kindergarten is a place, kindergarten. It's a place that the five-year kids go there, play there, learn something, eat something, and enjoy and spend their time there. And it's really good for parents because they can go to work and work at the office. They can go and take their kids to kindergarten. Then they'll be relaxed because there are some teachers and nurses, psychologists, and trainers are training them. Then they can set their mind at rest. Set their mind at rest. Yes. Very good. Hey, come on. Uh, one, two, six. My father is so hardworking, he comes back home too late. My father is the hero of my life. My father is the hero of my life. All you know, guys, I have had really difficult time in my life. A couple of years ago, my father went bankrupt. My father went bankrupt. And this is a true story. And the reason that Tony's words affect me because I have already experienced difficulties in my life, you know, really, really hard, tough days in my life. Seriously. A couple of years ago, my father went bankrupt. It was tough days. My mom, my two sisters, too hard. And I didn't have any brother. I don't have any brother. And uh, I had to deal with all these problems by myself. Really hard. Really, really difficult. But I just talked to my father. I said to him, don't worry. I will handle it. He said, come on, how can you handle it? I said, no worries. I'm strong. I'm ready enough. Oh, there. I'm ready to handle and deal with all the problems. Then fortunately, I have paid all the debts and I've become successful in my life. Not only I have paid all the debts, but also I have been successful in my life. I have a stable family, stable mind, stable job, stable business. And day after day, I can see my progress. You know why? Because I didn't quit. John has done. I didn't quit. I didn't give up. And I tried to be myself and I tried to uh, build. Uh, I, I tried to work on it solve the problems and I, I didn't say why did it happen to me i said how can i deal with it 
I just talked to God. I said, God, dear God, help me solve the problems. Help me find a solution. When you see a problem happens into your life, happens in your life, don't get carried away. Don't get carried away. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Sit and talk to the problems. Sit and talk to the problems. You can solve the problems if you really want it. To be strong matters. To be strong is the issue. To be strong enough. Yes, I can do it. I can solve the biggest problem in my life. I can solve the biggest problem in my life because I don't see the problem. I just see the solution. I don't I don't give a shit to the problem, whatever it is. Just I'll go, 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 go. I don't want to see the problem. Because when you see the problem, you can't. You got to just put the problem away and see the solution and find a practical solution. Find uh, helpful advice, helpful tips. Practical tips to solve the problems. And uh, you're going to be smart and how to find solution to solve the problems, can manage it, deal with it, cope with it. And at the end of the day, you will be more successful than your friends. You will be more successful than those people who do not have the problems. You will be more successful than those people who were free, financially free, you know. Yes. Sometimes problems will help you grow up. Sometimes problems will make you grow and shine like a diamond. Yes, problems are not obstacles. Problems uh, made opportunity. If my father didn't go bankrupt, I wouldn't succeed. If my father didn't go bankrupt, I wouldn't work hard. I worked 18, 20 hours a day. Can you believe it? I worked like crazy, you know. I worked like a dog. Can you believe it? I worked like a dog day and night. I mean, for five or six years, you know, still I'm working like a dog. <laughs> but it's, it's in my body. It's within me. And I can't change my character because I'm strong enough. And I have the power. And the power is the power within. I've already unleashed it. I've already uh, I tried to release the energy. And I can fly. And uh, now the problems can't affect my life. The problems can't uh, take my happiness. Problems bring happiness into my life. You know what? We have two groups of people. Some people really, really get afraid of facing the problems, but some others are ready to fight, to fight the problem, to find the solution. And end of the day, they will overcome. They will, they will beat. They will beat and they will succeed. Because they believe everything will be okay someday. If you just get depressed, if you really lose heart, if you give up or quit, end of the day you'll get depressed and nobody will help you. But if you say, yes, I'm ready to fight, I'm ready to capture, I'm ready to fight and claw, you know, you just like it, try to uh, open your arms and fight. Then you'll be very successful. Believe me, I've experienced. And I'm going to share with you. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm going to share with you. Maybe most of you guys don't know me. Most of you guys don't know my background. You just see, oh, I'm a yum yum all the time at the restaurant. I'm a yum yum all the time at the beach. Go to the Singapore, Dubai, Emirate airline. Perfect restaurant, perfect hotel, luxurious, fancy lifestyle. Oh my God. What do you know about my background? What do you know about five years ago? What do you know about the day that I started teaching English? Do you know anything about my background? Do you know anything about my uh, 10 years ago, five years ago, six years ago? You don't know anything. You know nothing. Please don't judge people. Please don't be judgmental. Don't be judgmental. First, see the positive things. Of course, it has nothing to do with people, my background, but it's good. You know, some people, nowadays, so many people have problems, but we have two groups of people. Some others, they can cope with it, but some others, they get stuck. 
Father, I love you, Daddy. Daddy is a hero. Mom and Dad, all of them, both of them, moms and dads are the best. You're too lazy. It's not good. You should be active. I was lazy. I was a lazy boy. I was a couch potato. <laughs> I was a couch potato a couple of years ago. You know, not not too long. I mean, five years ago, it was really couch potato. I didn't think about making money. I didn't think about business. I just followed. Like my father was rich, and I can I could manage it. I could take his car, go out. I don't need to. Think about making money or doing business or putting myself into stress. You know, I started my life with a dormitory in Gandhi. Those people who know me, you know, they, they know. I started my life in Tehran from dormitory in Gandhi Street, 20th, and I ran.